Time for some more Series 2. It's Zero Eleven here, and today we got a second box of 2021 Upper Deck Series 2. So, waiting on my case, this is the second box, which also costs 149 Once I do case break part 1, I'll get into the details of what you can get in a case break and what I'm hoping to get, but we got another box here, I'm looking forward to opening this. But, before I open this, thank you to Black Box Breaks for sponsoring this video. Make sure to go check out their shop at blackboxbreaks.com for a chance to win a sealed 24-pack box of 2021 Upper Deck Series Series 2 retail. Use code Ziri, I have my own code, for 10% off on all group breaks. And remember, each break spot purchase is one entry into the giveaway, so check them out, blackboxbreaks.com. Link will be in the description below. On top of that, we're also giving away two tints of 2021 Series 2 on Instagram, so go check out their Instagram, blackboxbreaks. Go check out my Instagram, Ziri11. Follow the instructions on there, and the final step we want you to do is comment done on this video, and then you'll be entered for the two tins. So once again, thank you, Blackbox Breaks, for sponsoring this video. New an up and coming breaker there they have a bunch of very interesting stuff coming soon so i encourage you guys to go check them out so with that all out of the way let's open up this box of series two okay two of 14 for the hobby boxes series two of course i'm going to be opening retail i'm going to be opening the tins blasters mega boxes you name it i'm going to be opening it i don't have to throw down at your best pals but i got to get the retail product let's check out another box of series two let's get that capris off or let's get that stutzless so yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to open the case. I'm gonna go through the base a little bit faster this time around. I already did the first box, and unfortunately, a lot of these base are from 1920. Fortunately, some of them are from the bubble from 1920, but still a little bit disappointing there. But hey, first young guns, Mason Marchment. There's your typical shoot picture you'll see on Hockey DB. But there's Mason Marchment. He was a Leaf prospect. And well, they traded him for Dennis Mulligan. And Mulligan's not on the Leaf. He's in Europe. So he's been pretty good. He's played a fair bit for the Panthers there. Big guy plays a heavy game. So very useful player there. That's a big win for the Panthers there getting Mason Marchment. So... And we got some base. There's the first Young Guns Mason Marchment. Not an action shot. Mildly unfortunate. Whenever I think of players without action shots, like 0607 had some of those. And Yorgiev in 1718 had that. But next pack up here we have Steven Stamkos, UD Canvas. So there's Stamkos. And more base. Okay, come on, hobby exclusive thing. Uh, Slavin. Got more base here. And OPG, Marky Rookies. Ryan McLeod. So there's the Marky Rookies of Ryan McLeod. And more base. Okay. Continuing on here, we have, ooh, Chase Prisky, high gloss young guns practice jersey. But hey, it's a high gloss from a loose box. So there's Prisky. He was fairly touted at one point. He signed with the Canes, but he was drafted by somebody else. I'm gonna have to check that, but good AHL numbers there for defensemen, but still doesn't look like much of a player there. I could be wrong, but he's already in his mid twenties like every other player in this crop, it seems. But dang, high gloss, hold on. Yeah, Prisky hasn't even played a game yet. He was initially a Washington Capitals pick in 2016 as six rounder. He didn't sign with them, so he signed with Carolina and then he got traded. This big trade here, including Vinny Trump. Trocek, so trocek has been really good for the Canes, but there's Chase Prisky, Young Guns practice jersey, high gloss, awesome. Look at that, I haven't seen the high gloss in person yet. Ooh, that's very cool, I'll take it. So there we go, that's like a bonus Young Guns as well. We should be still getting six regular Young Guns, so nice. Oh, imagine if that were Stutzler, Capri's off, but... Let's continue on. Here we have Marky Rookie. There's Mason Marchment once again. Except this time, there's him with the Leafs and there's him with the Panthers. Okay, all right. Well, I guess they have a picture of him from 2019 and that's a picture of him from 2021. So here's that. There's Joe Wall. Portraits Rookie, same picture of him as well there. So there you go. Joe Wall has been the backup for the Leafs due to injuries to Freddie Anderson and Jack Campbell. So I think he's back in the HL. They got a uh, Vevelinen and stuff, but... Up, uh, Joe Wall, marquee rookies. There we go, there's Joe Wall once again, draft picture. Okay, interesting boxes for a high gloss. Okay, what do we got in this pack? Ooh, we got any Dazzlers. I'm a fan of Dazzlers, but first, Mackenzie Blackwood, nice. Beauty Canvas, I'm actually putting all my uh, Blackwood stuff aside because I do like Blackwood. And hey, Jack Hughes, his teammate, Dazzlers Blue. So these are one of box, that's the blue one there. Okay, all right. I always enjoy series two. Series one and series two are just a lot of fun to open, so. See what we get in this pack here. Looks like we got no young guns. Hey, there he is. <laughs> Kirill Kaprizov, young guns. Number one for Andrew. We'll see how many we can get for him. I'm hoping to get three or four, but there's Kirill Kaprizov. And there is your verdict there, Andrew. I'll make sure I'll take good care of this card. Put it in the case right after this. But that's a big money card. I should be more excited, right? <laughs> He's the most valuable rookie right now. Kaprizov, great player. Already like a star player. Yeah, there's Kaprizov, number one. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Nice. All right. That's awesome. Okay, well, there's Olsen base. I don't think I've seen Olsen base. Hey, there's Patrick Kane. I don't think I've seen these base. 
Haskinen and Thomas Harley. Marquee rookies, former Mississauga Steelhead there. Dang, Kaprizov. Already loose box as well, so could still get two from the case. We could get some from retail, so could get three or four in total, so that's the hope. Okay, maybe even a Thomas Young Guns, but next Young Guns, Keegan Colesar. Young Guns, there's that third jersey there. There's Colesar. He's a bit of a hard-nosed player there, bottom six guy, so big guy there, 227, dang. Yeah, Colesar, I think he got his first goal recently. He's been a good addition to the Golden Knights lineup there. Okay, tearing on here. All right, what do we got in this pack? We have Alex Belzile, Portraits Rookies. So there's Belzile. Okay, did not pull a French from my first box, so I'm expecting to get a French here. I did check all the base after. I did not see any French, so. There's Ty Delandria, Marquee Rookies. He's actually been very solid for the stars there. He's been a regular, so there's Ty Delandria, former Flint Firebird. So there you go, there's his career numbers for Flint. Pretty good on a horrible team. I should say Flint's absolute tire fire. There you go. Next pack up here, really good box. I'm really happy with this. Okay, there's a nice Marc-Andre Fleury base. And we have in this pack, Pierre-Luc Dubois, still on the Blue Jackets there. Of course, he's on the Jets, big Patrick Line deal. So there's that, okay. Next pack up here. Okay, it's been a long time since I pulled the high gloss Young Guns. There's Ben Sherrod and Anthony Angelo. Young Guns. Not to be confused with Anthony D'Angelo. We're not going to talk about him, but he's also a 2014 pick, I think, Anthony Angelo. But yeah, he's like a power forward type. He's a big forward there. So yeah, really big, 6'5", 210. But Anthony Angelo, he's played here and there for the Pens. He's looked pretty decent. So he's not a full-time player, but he has the potential to be a full-time uh, third liner for them. But yeah, there's Anthony Angelo. That's pretty good. Okay. And again, it's the Penguins. They turned Brian Russ into a point-per-game player, so maybe they can turn a guy like Angelo into a really darn good player for them. So, we'll see. Okay, next pack up here. What do we got here? Ooh, we got canvas. Just a regular canvas, but it is horizontal. Ooh, nice. Look at this. Ed Jackman. UD canvas. Retired stars. That's old AF right there. <laughs> no mask. Pre-jock plant there. Okay, well... There you go, Ed Jackman, 70-71 Rangers. I mean, Plant was playing in the same era, right? But there you go. That's really cool there, Ed Jackman. Awesome. All right. Really good box. We still got eight packs left. <sighs> really enjoying this. Okay. Next one up here, we got another Young Guns. Oh, Nick Malosh. Young Guns, so it's an all right one there, Malosh. Another defenseman. Forgive my garbage audio. Not enough fricks are given at the moment, but Nick Malosh, it's an error. It says he's born July 17th, 98. Well, he's actually born July 18th, 1997. So they got it reversed there. So there's an error by Upper Deck. I might as well share it here. Nick Malosh, he's not a regular, I'm pretty sure, but he has been up. So there's that. Okay, and we got more base. Okay, next pack up. Really good box. That is a loose box. So, and Krill Ustamenko, marquee rookies. Another picture like that, huh? Well, there's the Ustamenko. It's either that or a practice jersey picture. Okay, hopefully the upcoming products will get some more action shots. I know with everything going on, it's tougher to get the pictures, but see who we get here. Brayden Burke, Young Guns. Depth forward, yeah, there's another depth forward, so. Good numbers there in Tucson, so maybe he'll have a little bit of upside there, but still not a very young prospect there, so. Brain Burke, okay. Well, coming down to it, we got only a handful of packs here, so. There you go, award winners, Tampa Bay Lightning with the cup there. That's pretty cool there. Award winners, Brain Point scored the game winner, there you go. September winning the cup. Okay. All right. Well, that's interesting there. And more base. Still no French. Okay, but still, wow. That's the most valuable Young Guns at this point. Again, look at this comment. I'm actually going to follow up on that comment in five years, and we'll see which one's more valuable. But maybe it's not either one of them. But what do we got here? The heck is this? It's a jersey. Okay, cool. The rookie materials. Another rookie materials. Hopefully, it's uh, Lafreniere or Stutzler. It's a shark. All right, well, there you go. Maxim Latunov, rookie materials. So there's Latunov, Russian. Latunov, not super exciting player to get, but hey, another rookie materials, another jersey card there, worn by the featured player. Okay, three more packs. All right, what do we got in this pack? Here we got Alex Balzile, marquee rookies. Okay, still waiting on that first French card. Okay, what do we got here? We got Connor Ingram, portraits rookies. So there's Connor Ingram, portraits rookies. Okay, and the final pack of series two. Then we'll go on to the case if I don't get any more loose boxes. But we have in this pack here, Kivalenix, portraits rookies. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, guys, there's a hobby box of 2021 Upper Deck Series two. That was a home run of a box for sure. We got a jersey. We got some young guns that are all right. We got this really cool Ed Jackman, retired canvas. Anthony Angel, that's all right. Chase Prisky, high gloss. There you go. That's a nice one there. And of course, 
We got Karel the Thrill. Capri's off, Young Guns. So awesome one there. He had some really great numbers in the KHL there. But yeah, there you go. Capri's off. There's a big pull. Really good box. I'm really pleased with that. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for the case. Once again, also, thank you to Black Box Breaks for sponsoring today's video. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.